welcome back again to Wade Fine Arts. I'm currently right now in uh, at, with my husband in a hotel room in Huntsville. This video and uh, this introduction from my hotel room to the news that I would like to share with everyone and that is is that we are purchasing a new home and we are getting ready to move out of our condo and into a lovely home that we are buying on 1.16 acres outside of the town that we live in and we are very excited about this we're looking forward to it and we can't wait to get into our new home the upcoming weeks where I will not have time to work on a video so I may not get a video up um, occasionally um, during that time I will try and squeeze in some time in there to maybe put together a quick video maybe a week occasionally during this time period that I will not have a video up. I highly recommend that you follow me on Facebook it's Wade Fine Arts as well as uh, click the uh, subscribe and the notification button so that you will be notified when I do have a new video up. And I hope you get some helpful information, some tips, and maybe even some inspiration from these videos. We'll be doing a piece I call Tree of Life and we will be begin by putting down the background which is the sky and the grass and then I have a stencil that I will lay down over that to put in the tree and the birds and the other elements of this piece and I will be going over with you each step as I'm doing it uh, I'm telling you what I would be telling you what I'm using as well as everything that I will be using will be in the list in the description uh, with links for you to purchase these items if you would like so I will also be doing a review of these pencils, which I've been meaning to do and just never got around to. I really like them. They blend out really well. They're very vibrant once um, you blend them out with water. They're very, very good uh, pens watercolor pencils. They have a lot of pigment. Into this video and hope you enjoy. So for this, we'll be using a number 14 round watercolor brush and a number 8. We'll be using the number 8 mostly, a stencil. Fiber cast off, art grip aquarella, and two glasses of water. Okay, so first we're going to get our piece of paper or watercolor paper taped down, and then we're going to start laying down that background using some blues, varying the colors to light to dark, as well as the bottom. We will also be using a one and a half inch angled brush to put down our base colors and to blend these uh, out the sky and the grass at the bottom. Okay, first I began by putting down some phalo green and then I began working into the grass and, and I started off with the phalo green and then slowly worked my way down into a dark, up into a darker emerald green and then into a forest green. Now I'm using that light blue, which is the uh, smalt blue, and then working my way up into ultramarine and then into some cobalt blue. Then I used that half one and a half inch angled brush, there you can see getting some clean water, and used that to blend out the colors and give it kind of a cloudy look up at the top by going in circles as I blended. And, and then I used the brush to go in upward strokes at the bottom with the grass to give it more of a grassy feel. Now I have laid down the stencil and taped it down so that it would stay into place. And then I just began alternate, picking the colors I've used. I started with some, some brown, some light brown for the top bird, just putting down my base colors and letting those dry as I work on other pieces. Then I moved over into the butterflies. First I laid down the base color for the body and then for the wings. I, um, then I blended those out with that eighth inch watercolor brush. And then moving down to the flower, again using some of that forest green, some light green, and some red and some orange for the leaves for the petals of the flowers. Again, now working on those butterflies at the bottom using some oranges and some reds and purples to put down my base. 
and then moving on to the tree and putting in some variation in color so that we have some texture and some alteration in the coloring to make it look more realistic. Blend, again, blending it out with that uh, number eight watercolor brush using the tip of the watercolor brush to get into those corners. And then on the grass, I used again the uh, forest green and some uh, phthalo green um, for the grass patches and then blended those out. Now I'm going back over once it's all dried and used the hair dryer. I went in and began putting in the detail work with the stencil still laying down so that I would have an outline to follow. Now going back in and just going around, moving around, putting in those details. Now I'm using that white to put in some highlights and lighten up some of the areas that I wanted to lighten up. Again, going over those leaves, putting in the details, the veins for the leaves, brightening up the flowers, putting some highlights, going back and blending those out again. Now going back with that, that green, that white pencil and putting some highlights in and putting some like little details on the butterflies, putting some highlights on those leaves. Okay, and now the final piece, we'll take the tape off where we can see the edges really good. And uh, this is the final piece. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you in the next video.